Okay, so kung kanina medyo nagdadali kita kasi ini nga editor is only good for 16 minutes. So syempre yan na medyo maihiya-iha na. By the way class, um, bear with me kasi bago pala luwat ako nag-aaram with um, video editing. Mm, dire man to ako talaga linya. Siguro mas maupay ka mo ito kasi generation to niya. So by the way, So, this is part of adapting the new normal education. So, let's continue. Again, we're still under radiological units and quantities. So, kanina natin na-mention that's already one. So, that is exposure or symbolized by a small letter X. So, again, that is radiation intensity in air. So, our SI unit is in terms of column per kilogram and the traditional unit is in terms of rent gain. So, the next quantity is the charan absorbed dose which is symbolized by capital letter d so when we say absorbed dose so this is defined for all types of ionizing radiation huh? so the quantity absorbed dose is defined as the energy deposited by ionizing radiation per unit mass of material So, energy delta E or the change in energy over delta M or the change in mass. So, other than that, okay, so before I uh, proceed, so uh, let me uh, use other references because in other books, when we say absorb dose, so this refers, ref, refers to like, refers to the radiation that is absorbed by the patient. Okay? So, kanina, an exposure is the radiation interaction in air. Now, when that radiation interacts or will be received by your patient, that will be converted into another quantity which is now absorbed dose. So, yan. Let's move on. That's a unit of absorbed dose is gray. Okay, so uh, it, the symbol is capital letter G, small letter Y. So, one gray is equivalent to one joule per kilogram. This is the derivation. Uh, the derivation of one gray is one joule per kilogram. Kasi sabi nga natin kanina, may I flashback na lang ano, taro agi kalipong ni sir. So, ito. So, energy is in terms of joules and mass is in terms of kilogram. That is why the derivation for one gray is, again, joule per kilogram. For every one joule per kilogram, that is one gray. So the traditional unit of absorbed dose is the rad. Or this is, diba, small letters R, A, D. That means the letter R is for radiation, the letter A is absorbed, and the small letter D is dose. Okay, so radiation absorbed dose. So, one rod is equal to 0.01 joule per kilogram. So, therefore, we can say that for every one gray or for every one joule per kilogram, there are 100 rod. Or that is 10 raised to 2 rod. Okay, that is equal to one gray. Okay, so now we can convert from uh, traditional to SI or SI to traditional. This is our conversion factor. Again, for every one gray, there are 100 rad or 10 raised to 2 rad. So, may pakiana dati, sir. Paano natin masasabtan ang mili, ang sinti, ang nano, ang micro? So, those are uh, explanations under your basic math. When, I guess when you were still in high school or senior high school or probably in your general education one by one, mathematics in modern world, I just really don't know. So, the, those uh, prefixes are not covered in my lecture. So, let's convert. Number one and number two. Okay, so I hope you will listen to my explanation in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so uh, you can see this is much a uh, lot easier than wow, wow, you see. Yes, um, compared with the former uh, quantity, the exposure. 
here in absorb dose kasi hindi siya masyadong complicated kasi nga yung uh, equivalence niya is 1 tapos 100 whereas the former one di ba meron siyang 1 tapos equivalent to 2.58 times 10 raised to negative 4 ganun so now we are going to convert 90 centigrade to millirad this is the SI and this is the tradition now centi di ba meaning centigrade what happened Okay, so let's copy 90 centigrade and then copy the unit as the denominator centigrade. Yeah. And of course, we have to place the mother unit, which is gray. So again, pakianan mo tim kalugaringon. Hi, nandako. Gray or centigrade? Of course, si gray, diba? So for everyone, gray. There are, diba, sinti meaning 100. So that is 10 raised to 2 centigrade. So cancel natin and centigrade. And then, we are now going to convert gray into rad. Which means, from the SI unit going now to the traditional unit. So copy natin ang gray. And then place the traditional unit rad. So as you can remember, for every one gray, there are 100 rad. Kanina nag-mention kita no 100, tapos yan ang another 100. So pag makita ka mo class na magparehas it denominator, uh, exponent, numerator, and denominator, so automatic, this is equivalent to 1, so cancel na lang para di rin na niyan mas damo pa nga isusurat nino. Okay, so cap, uh, cancel na ton. Gray. And then, copy natin ang rad. A denominator. And, what to nakita ito ito? Ang ginahanap na unit. Millirad. So, hi, mas dako. Rad or millirad? Very good. So, mas dako ang rad. Which means, for every one rad, there are, mili, di ba? 1,000. So, 10 raised to 3 millirad. So, cancel natin ang rad. So, combine all the whole numbers and combine all the exponents. So, in this problem, we only have one whole number, which is 90 times 10. And, gladly, we also have one exponent, which is raised to 3 millirad. So, again, we are going to convert this expression into a proper scientific notation. Kasi pansin mo, 90, there is a single whole number. So, single whole number followed by decimal. So, since magmumove na naman si decimal going to the left, so magaharayo siya by 1. Which means we have to add the, the, the exponent by 1. So, magiging positive 4 millirad. Or in other words, so, in this example, again, we are now going to convert 75 kilorad going to milligray. How I wish ka muna talaga at nagko-convert eh, para di rin amat ang live. Balitaw. So, copy 75 kilorad as our given. Then, copy the unit, kilorad. And, put the unit the mother unit or the root unit so that is rad now again ask yourself high and bigger is it rad or kilo rad so mas dako and kilo rad therefore for every one kilo rad there are very good so that's 1000 rad okay so cancel natin ang kilo rad what remains is rad okay so copy natin ang rad and then we are going to convert the uh, traditional into now the SI unit. Rad to going to gray. So we have our equivalent, tiba. For every one gray, there are 100 rad. So cancel natin ang rad. And kapihon natin ang gray as a denominator and an atong unit nga ginahanap which is in terms of milligray. So, hi, Dako. Gray kung milligray. 
So, mas dako ang gray. For every one gray, there are 1,000 milligray or 10 raised to 3 milligray. Cancel natin ang gray. So, combine all the whole numbers and combine all the exponents. So, in this problem, we only have one whole number that is 75 times 10. Combine all the exponents. Unahon muna natin it the uh, numerator. So, 3 plus 3. Of course, ay napagamit calculator. That is 6. Plus, so again, as a rule of thumb, we are going to convert the sign of the denominator and then proceed to addition. So, since we have positive 2 na exponent, magiging negative 2. Tapos, i-add natin sa exponent dito sa numerator. So, plus negative 2. Copy the unit, milligrade. So, 75 times 10. So, uh, 6 plus negative 2. That will become positive 4 milligray. So, again, we are going to express our answer into the simplest form or into a proper scientific notation. So, one whole number followed by decimal. Then, 10 raised to. So, what will happen to your exponent? So, since um, we move further, mas nagharayo kita sa ato na exponent. So, mag a na naman kita hin 1, uh, one for our exponent. So, that will become 7.5 uh, times 10 raised to 5 milligray. So, this is our answer. Masayon makore. Masayon la. You can do that.